Hello everyone. Today I'm going to repair this uh, rice cooker. Cuckoo. It's quite heavy. Let's see uh, what they have over here. Look like a display. And uh, the button over here is um, kind of a touch button. Induction heating. Okay. This a uh, tiny and uh, same is the uh, induction. So that probably this one is the one who received the energy from the bottom. The bottom emit electromagnetic field, and it will have like coupling with this the bottom part here and then it will hit over here and this one is very thick and heavy okay that's the inside here so this one kind of a, a, a switch a sensor that indicate the part is in place and uh, when I plug in I don't see any um, power indication on the display there's nothing over here just uh, unplug this one it's out even plug for the power. Okay, so we um, remove the bottom part and the fan here. And this things go up, go to the upper section, and uh, not quite sure what that is. The controller generate the. Um, the AC and the coil, and the coil will transfer energy wirelessly to the the part on the top. Get the fan. So. Okay, let's try to uh, unplug this one. many LEDs here and I think this one the battery green yep they got the whole unit here the power going here I will try uh, to look online if they have the information for this kind of uh, rice cooker, for what type of sensor they use, and uh, what the function of uh, of the thing here. Okay, and this one that connect to the the coil over here. Uh, this one for temperature sensor. This one for the thermal fields, and the white one here. Uh, is for pan okay that means to detect the presence of the part and this one this one is go to the heater and uh, I believe um, beside the they use induction to heat the part it also had the regular heater and when we have to put a electric current here it will heat the part around the part. Yeah, this the purple one go to here for the sense. This one is go to the the steam valve. So, so we cap we know um, most of the connector here for. So after. Um, 
little while diagnosed it and uh, I think I figured out the problem with the bore so this one is the main power input it's connected to the top over here and um, I try to trace the the power line so the power come in come into terminal over here so I can tell so this section over here is for control the or the induction coil and this is for the high power thing I also trace the line here to the ter the connector over here and uh, this connector here right here that connect to this one and this one um, connect to this board this board over here the AC input connect to the red connector over here this pin connect to this pin that thermal fuse here connect to um, the red connector here and I check ohm on the thermal fuse the thermal fuse open the AC line come in here and it go to the thermal fuse and since the thermal fuse open this one is for the power supply for whole electronics and uh, since the fuse open no power here and that's why we don't see any light um, on this display here now I think um, we try to find out how to uh, assess into the thermal fuse, how to replace the thermal fuse. Now I try to get to the thermal fuse. The thermal fuse in here. Yeah. So this thermal fuse here. I think this one still good and then I don't touch this but uh, just the thermal fuse then this fuse and this one uh, 169 degrees C 250 volt 1 amps this one is break so look like it disconnects Here's the uh, the part number of the thermal fuse. This is the or original one. Let me see. Uh, this one a little bit longer, but it, the uh, diameter I think um, about the same. Uh, okay, make sure the length of this one. Yeah, not too long. Okay, that's good fit in here. For this one, I think I need to uh, put some of the thermal paste in here. Okay, put some thermal paste in here. And 
put back the uh, cup here. Okay. Yeah, I try to remember. Um, get back here. Did the two pin I put in uh, to test the uh, the fuse and the notebook. So now it test, then I take it out. In the center of the part. That that unit here include the thermal fuse and the thermal sensor in one unit. So when I replace the thermal fuse, so I put it in back to the thing here. Turn it on this side. Yep. Now I start uh, putting back together at the front panel battery and the back panel. And uh, this one for the fan over here, and this one go to the speaker. Okay, now the fan. Okay, the turn. Plug the power and see what happened. Sounds good. We see the fan spinning. Oh, and see all the lights on. Try some touch. Look like the touch work. Okay, that's good. Make a brand new Oops. how it work. Okay. Uh, see, lights on. Oh, uh, is it cooking? Can touch it. Uh -oh. Ooh, that's scary. Cook has been cancelled. Ooh, the petty heart. And, uh, Let's see. Yeah, we can touch thing. Brown rice. 
Mixed rice. Hi. Turn the handle to the lock position. Okay, I think uh, this rice cooker is fixed and I can get back to uh, my friend. Thank you for watching.